What? What the hell happened to my mother? You've got to be kidding. An industrial spill? What useless son of a bitch brought a tanker through here? All right, get it together, Twiggy. Director, we've got to get started. Please, as quickly as you can. If we don't act now, this might genuinely be the end. For Mother, for the Dianite, all of it. I've been helping Cora design some tech that might actually help out here. Her brain runs like a rocket. If anyone can figure it out, she can. The Zen Garden is a little project Twiggy and I have been working up. And given the ecological situation, it's time to whip it out. We've modified a bouquet of Xenoflora to take advantage of their naturally juicy characteristics. Chemical printers are good, but nature still has the edge in exotic squirty fluids. Hopefully, Dio will respond to a more organic approach, and our spurty vegetation can be used to solve all sorts of problems for regular-sized patients, too. Go get them, Director! Mr. Ryan's working on a plan of attack for Dio, and some Dio and I from the surface have requested our aid. Prepare the hospital as best you can, Director. Are we prepared? Uh, Dio is decaying rather rapidly, Director. We should action our response as soon as possible.
Bravo! Let's show the galaxy what making a difference looks like. The Dianai who are trapped on the surface are arriving for emergency treatment. Being created of Dio's own matter and chemistry, they seem uniquely affected by the disaster. She might be an impossible old bag, but she's my mum, and I won't let this happen to her. I'm ready, Director. managed to heal the first victim. It's early days, but from the look of things, the spill is affecting Dio's cells like a cryon, causing her cells to unfold into the wrong shapes. Everything's interconnected by either roots or pheromones, so this illness is cascading through Dio's ecosystem. We know sod all about the cellular damage. It's amazing the Zen Garden is working so well. to turn our attention nice place. and to treat it in Dio herself. We'll need to deploy a shuttle with a very large scoop to take the necessary samples from the surface. From there, we'll be able to learn exactly how Dio's biology is being affected. The shuttle is ready to dispatch at your command. Wonderful. 
Once our precious shuttle has safely returned to us, we'll have a much better notion of, well, what the hell to do about all this, really. That's assuming you approve, Dr. Bob. I'm not quite sure how to handle the uh, etiquette of sampling your mother. Nah, you're all good. Go for it, mate. Director, the shuttle's picking up some valuable samples, but it's also just spotted Clem Banzig. We'll have the shuttle bring him along, I guess. I want to hear what the old gorilla was doing down there. even knocked Clem on his ass. And he's swallowed more toxic crap than anyone I know. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, sorry about all this. My manager learned I'm an avid bird watcher and thought we could do some cultural outreach with the die and I. Oh, I'm feeling a little dizzy, though. So I think I'm just gonna lie down here for a while. Yes, of course. Uh, pop on out when you're ready, Mr. Bansick. We are unloading the diagnosis canisters now. Let's process them and hope we can gain some insights on how to restore Dial. Hello there. I hope you're all well. We are in the red, Director. Just some bits and bobs, really. I hope none of that's illegal. Director, we appear to have an infestation of vomitungs. I'm off to catch up with the news. Every one of our diagnosis canisters has been analyzed. While I've analyzed these samples, I'll see if I can't coax Mr. Bansig out of his torpor with some soothing bird song. While you prep for Mr. Bansig, we've received a blueprint for the nourishment module from R&D. Once crafted and placed, it'll flood a room with an invisible cloud of relatively benign nanomachines upon which your doctors will unwittingly feast. The tiny robots will then work diligently to satisfy their various physical needs. Hi, Mr. Banzig. I hope you aren't feeling too bad about being coated in a chemical spill. This group is pretty bad. Although, it kind of tastes like toxin energy. Huh. That's weird. Yes, I wouldn't slurp any more of it than you absolutely have to, Mr. Bansick. We have no clue what the substance actually is. Uh, uh, okay. Hypothetically, what if I've slurped, like, uh, a gallon of it off my arm? I'm sure that'd be fine. And in the event that it wasn't fine, your cadaver would be a phenomenal boon to medical research. Oh, sure. Okay. That sounds good. I like helping. Honestly, yeah, it feels like I have knives in my blood. Mostly worried about my documentary crew, though. I think they're still stuck down here. Are they gonna be okay, or, or what? Yes, of course. I'm sure they're amongst the many other patients on board. We'll take good care of them. Director, I'm fairly certain that they're dead. I'll arrange for a condolence card to deliver the news at a later date.
I feel much better. Thanks, guys. for once instead of getting in everyone's hair i screw boot it up again not to worry son for once this wasn't actually your fault do be careful out there hey thanks and good luck helping dio it was beautiful down there you know well until everything started dying another successful rehabilitation of mr bansig's constantly catastrophic body as you might expect director many found a number of energy drinks stowed away in his shuttle i suppose we'll find a better home for them based on sample analysis the ichor largely consists of colossal cell matter that's been processed and refined somehow were it not for our recent experience treating colossals i doubt we'd ever have noticed Hmm. Before we arrived, this station was fitted with many cannons. A projectile system which will let us fire canisters directly into Dio's environment. The next step is to process canisters with one of Ms. Orion's chemical solutions, blast them at Dio, and analyze the effects. Load up your ballistic systems, Medi. I'm going to have a route around in some gunk. Aye, aye. <laughs> Your canisters are ready and hungry for the Zen Garden's leathery fluids, Director. Out of me. Those cannons aren't screwing around. Let's get some more canisters loaded up. have been shot at Dio. Quite a gorgeous trajectory, really. Am I aiming this right, Eel? I think some of my old programs are coming in handy. Quite so, many. You're doing wonderfully. Keep up the barrage. Rejuvenate all sectors. 
Warm greetings to you all. Browse away. Progress, Director. Dio is showing great promise of recovery. Okay, that's all the canister deployment we can risk right now. We'll have to process the results and see if we can improve things. But for now, it looks good. Kind of weird to see your mother for the first time in a year. If we start bombarding her from orbit, Life is strange, I guess. You're more patient than I am, Director. I'd want to collect another couple of bombardments like that, and we might turn this ship around. Speaking of, we're ready to start filling up three new batches of canisters. One will need Zen Garden Juice, another some foam from the Skin Lab, and the third will need to be filled with Photonymph Essence in Parasitology. I don't want to get heavy on you, Director. But you're literally saving my people from extinction. Cheers, eh? Quite so. Saving a galactic culture is quite the feather in your cap, I'd say. are here. With three distinct medicative canisters, one of them is bound to work. Activating our 
Armageddon. Strike back. Battery. Excellent shoot. My lab. Director, I've made a note to have another look at Medi's extinction protocols, but I'm sure everything's perfectly safe. Fine. we would have foreseen. I could not stop it, alas, and my body fails from the poison. I ask for aid. That confirms our suspicions about the spill, Director. Let's help our friend as soon as possible. Dispatch the shuttle when you're ready, Director. The shuttle is away. the corrupted blood with samples of my flesh. It may aid your work.
diagnosis is complete, Director, and our large friend was quite right. We can use this data to massively improve our next cures. Treatment canisters are powered up and ready for a trip to the Zen Garden. Just for you. Had to clean some of this up. Not easy with flippers. Our canisters have been fueled with exotic floral juices and are heading to the shuttle. The shuttle is primed and ready for your launch order, Director. The shuttle is away. I hear your small vehicle incoming. Thank you. Scrape me as you please. Welcome again, small friends, and your tiny spaceship. We've ballistically dispatched half of this set of canisters. Dr. Bob, how do you think she's looking? Way, way better than we could have hoped for. Her natural defenses are starting to take control again. Now that we've given her a chance to breathe, she's purging what she can from the surface and atmosphere. With one last dose from us, she might recover all the way. Thank you, Galactic Air. 
I will travel into the loam and seek the source of this calamity. May your work prevail. This entity, Dio, is a treasure, the only of its kind, and the worthy mother of all Dionai. Well, I don't know about that. It'd be nice if the old bag would talk to us once in a while. Still, amazing director. Hello. Phaser's payload has been fully deployed into the atmosphere. So, now we just wait and see what she makes of it. Looking good to me, by Joe. I've never seen a healthier looking planetary life form. Nor Benny at all, in fact. Yeah, but her neural network. Something's off. I'm not really seeing anything. It should be far brighter than this. It's all right. We can fix her. We just need to bring the activity back down and give her a chance to breathe. Either that, or we find a planet-sized chunk of wood for her to bite down on. And it might take a while. Cora came up with a sedative in case something like this happened. If we juice the canisters and cerebral rehab, we might put her to sleep and let everything settle down. A splendid solution. <laughs> yes, um, I, uh... Rather inappropriate time for a pun. My apologies. Nah, you're all right. Maddie's shooting is a hell of a thing to watch. I want to get him into a game of laser tag when this is all over. Thanks, Twiggy. I think he'll plug some old code back in, though, so it's not really me doing it. Nonsense, Maddie. It's entirely you. You'd simply forgotten how, is all. Huh. I guess that makes sense. Well, I can remember now, and I like it. I'm gonna keep blasting. That's the spirit. The psyche is starting to shine, but why is it so chaotic? Oh, shit. Director, it's like she's having a seizure. It was all too much too fast. Uh, oh, dear. Nice place. Yeah. I hope you're all well. Thank you. Come again.
Josh's, Director. Left unaddressed, this could cause a rush on the vending machines.
Nice, nice. Director, a plague of noshers have... Wonderful hospital and harass the pleasant patients within. the source of your personal issue with your mother, Dr. Bob. Not so much of a personal issue as a Dianite issue. Everything on Mum is connected to the greater whole and has a clear ecological role. Except for us, who have no access to the Noosphere. We're made deliberately, but she refuses to tell us why. So, most Dianite feel abandoned. And that's why almost all of us screw off into space. I see. Yes, rather a pickle. Us synthetics are given rather an abundance of purpose, for better or worse. I'm not entirely sure I don't envy you. Grass is greener, eh? It may well be. Hello, Galactica. Having a gander. A fine invention. This kind of disaster so quickly. That really is Galactica's thing, huh? Well, our thing, I guess. Save the galaxy, one patient at a time. Been a while since I've gotten to say that. Ms. Orion would be very, very proud indeed. Extraordinarily well done. Director, we appear to have an infestation of vomitants. Dio, a colossal, countless of my kin, and secured a future for the Dianai. <laughs> Even old clams back on his legs. For now, at least. Good on you, Director. Once things are normal again, I doubt many of us will stay. But maybe some nostalgic Dianai will pop back in after hearing about this. See if they can get a word out of her or something. Lots to think about. Probably after I drench my roots in moonshine, though. Thank you, Doctor. I really mean it. That goes for all of us. A grand job, indeed. We shall remain on site for as long as you need us, Director. 
Now that things have calmed down somewhat, I think I'll spend some time trying to identify those responsible. Hmm. Quite a view. As always, you may depart to our next venture whenever you'd like, or remain to attend to any lingering problems in the system, or simply to arrange furniture in amusing and obscene ways if you'd like.